you know what came to me this afternoon? Um, is that I don't know how much you have followed the news these last three weeks. Every Saturday there's been this huge demonstration against what Bibi is trying to do to bring more um, righteousness in this judicial section and the demonstrations were maybe 400,000, 500,000 with such a hatred and the hatred was also against Bibi personally. They can hardly accept that he won and that the government that surrounds him now is a government to the right. That is the whole problem. Yeah, it was like the Lord showed me. Yeah. That was the revelation. Yeah. There is a battle for the soul and the destiny of Israel. Yes. Is Israel, and once you see that, you know where you can put your 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 prayers and your acts, mm -hmm. which I really want to do myself. Is Israel going to be just a democratic Israeli nation doing whatever all the other nations want to do. Freedom for sex and human rights for every group. Or is Israel back to be the Jewish state, the Orle Goyim, the light to the Gentiles that God intended for them to be when he brought them back, not to be Goyim right. in Tel Aviv, mm -hmm. but to be truly his people. Right. And the, there's a parallel because when they um, came back from um, Babylon, Nehemiah and Ezra said, oh my God, we are just back and we do it again. And the reason why um, Israel lost her country, her city and her temple was because of the corruption at that time and what they called the Sinat Achim. The, the, they were so hating one another and exactly that what caused them to lose Jerusalem and their own destiny for 2,000 years is repeated. Today, Tel Aviv is the most friendly city towards homosexuality and all these things of the Gentiles is the most expensive city in the world. So the gods of the Gentiles, money and sex, are reigning in Tel Aviv. And it's in Tel Aviv that those who want this lifestyle are demonstrating against what they see is going to happen that Bibi with all these Orthodox conservative Ministers around them are going to say, no, we can only be Jews here, not just democratic Israelis. So it is a fight for the destiny of Israel. The destiny that God has in mind and that we should support. I said it to a brother of Bibi, I said, all I want is the Jews to be Jews. And I feel more Jewish, I said to him, than these Gentile living Jews in Tel Aviv. And the amazing thing is that when 10 out of each nation will come to inspire a different friends who've done the same as me. They've come here, believers, they've sent their children into the army, and they're 
certainly more Jewish than most of the Israelis in Tel Aviv. So I said to him, I feel more Jewish and I feel more a Zionist than the majority of the Israelis. And the fight is that they begin to smell that Bibi, who has a real open heart for the spiritual destiny of his people, that Bibi is going to take Israel away from a Gentile-oriented Israeli society to a Jewish people that will be the instrument in God's hand. And now comes the Messianic Jews, and I, I hope this is going to make people think again. The Messianic Jews sometimes prefer the homosexual liberal Israelis who are fighting for them, not because they are so spiritual, but because anything that hurts the Orthodox is okay with them. So they says we are for the homosexuals, for the messianics and for everybody. I don't accept that. And this is the weakness when they only think of their little uh, work and ministry and says, well, you know, these Orthodox, and they so inspire sometimes the Christians. The Orthodox, according to them, are the problem. And the Lord showed me. And this balance, I pray that it will be all over the world. Jesus said, the Pharisees are sitting in the seat of Moses. Hear them, but don't do according to their deeds when they don't do what they tell you to do. And then he says, if your righteousness, and he speaks to his disciples, to us, is not exceeding the righteousness of the Pharisees, you will not enter the kingdom of God. I love the Lord. I thought, Lord, you were killed by these people. They stay crucify him. And you gave them such honor. And most of the Messianic Jews would say, no, 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 the Orthodox don't want us. So they will sit with the crowd of Israel, of Tel Aviv, who says, anyone have, have their rights from us. You can be an atheist, you can be an Israeli that don't believe, you can be an Israeli that believes in your Messiah. As long as we are not going to be truly that Jewish nation that God intended. And the same that brought Israel to the end in 2000 years ago is happening today. Immorality all over. I will not tell it that there's even it is unbelievable. My son says, Papa, you don't know how, how, how sexualized most of the Israelis have become. And the same thing that caused Israel to lose the temple, Jerusalem, and their land, the immorality and the hatred of one another. The Jews even themselves say, and I hope they will hear, the reason why we lost Jerusalem and the temple was Sinat Achim, because we were quarreling with one another when Titus was standing at the very borders and later at the walls of Jerusalem. That's what we do, and that's what they do now. I was ministering to a Dutch woman. I loved her and prayed for her so much. 
my wife, my Arab wife and I, we had her for weeks to help her in our home. She sometimes was standing in the garden and put her head on the um, tree, weeping, full of demons. And it was nice for me, so she was in a monastery in Nazareth. I'd never met her. And she said, young I don't know if it was an angel or the Lord. I heard him say, go to Van der Hoeven in the garden tomb. And so she came and I prayed more for that woman than any other person. And as I was ministering one night against all these demons, I said, in the name of Jesus, where do you come from? I never forget this Dutch woman answered from San Francisco. I said, wow. I didn't understand it then. But the devil is worshipped in San Francisco. It's the headquarters of International Satanist Church. It's one of the most homosexual friendly cities. It's exactly what Tel Aviv is about to happen if this message is not going to be heard by Jews and Christians. I said, there where he's free. I never wanted to be close to I've traveled all over America, but I felt San Francisco. It was so beautiful, the city. And the devil loves beautiful things. Lucifer was the most beautiful, adorned worship leader. Beautiful. That's whom he wants. A Dutch friend of mine said, I hope this is going to be used. Jan Willem, a beautiful woman, needs to say nine times more yes to the Lord than the woman was not so nice. Your beauty can be your strength, but the devil would love to use my beauty or my anointing or your beauty or your intellectual powers. He loves to use what you think is your strength. Mm -hmm. That makes Samson to fall that make many others to fall. And I pray that God will help us to so choose for the Lord, even if we have our struggles, even if we have failed, so choose for the Lord that He I pray for myself that he does not need to be afraid, which I believe he will do, to give me powers of healing and help and make me, as I have done in the past, a voice to leaders and to the church at large. And that he is not to be afraid, he says, then he will run away with what I give him. Anyway, It is quite amazing. The same demonstrations that are against what God is trying to do to bring Israel back to its Jewish roots. We hate me. We hate this government. It's a threat to our freedom. We want, and they have all the flags of Israel, we want Israel to be free like all the other nations. And I was amazed when this woman or the demon in her said, I come from San Francisco. I thought, Lord, how amazing. In Tel Aviv, 
who is getting more and more like San Francisco, all the demonstrations are occurring. That's why the devil is very welcome. And a text from Tel Aviv, the Jewishness that God wants to establish through my friend Bibi and his government. And the same is happening in America. There's a parallel. When they say Iraq law, maybe as long as we don't have Bibi as prime minister, as they said before he was voted in, the, the same pro abortionist, uh, rebellious against God or any law under this Biden administration, the same type of people that come together to oppose the Jewishness of Israel that may be established through this government and through my friend, baby. The same type of people are in America. And the two witches, or should I say, Jezebels, that drive this corrupt Biden administration, with his transport minister being a homosexual, his pride, his his um, spokesman for the White House, a lesbian woman. It, everyone has his right in him. We must give the black and the homosexuals and the pro-abortions. Oh, oh, oh. Who are the two women that completely support him in this? Thank God she is not anymore the speaker. Pelosi, Nancy Pelosi, and Kabbalah Harris. Where do they come from? From San Francisco. Where the devil reigns like he wants to reign over Israel via Tel Aviv. And the Christians go, Shalom, Shalom. Says, Israel needs something more. Uh -huh. And Israel, somebody said to me, who prays for me all the time, says, I, I sometimes pray three times a day for you. The Lord tells me, pray for you, pray for you. He's my Jeremiah, pray for him. And it is now and then she said to me, Young will me read Nehemiah and Ezra. What is needed today is not just Messianic Jews having their meetings, it's okay. What is needed is Nehemiahs and Esras that are going to take care not just of their own ministry, but are going to cry. I've said to one Messianic Jews, why don't you all, the other seven Messianic assemblies in, in Jerusalem alone, why don't you all come to the wedding wall like the first Jews who believed in Jesus went to the synagogue, not to a messianic assembly, but to the synagogue. Why don't you all come on the and say, we are caring for Israel to be Israel. Yes. If all these little yeah. meeting places would come as 3,000 to the Western Wall, not as messianic Jews, but as people who care like Nehemiah, that Israel is about again. to do the very thing that made them lose the temple, the city, and their country. And that's the battle of these last three weeks. I, I, I don't know how Bibi can survive it, the pressure. And because the Christians don't see what is happening, that this is a fight, and that 
the believers, whether they're Jewish believers or Gentile believers, can speak and say, No, Israel! I said to the brother of Bibi, I don't want you to become Christian. I want the Jews to become Jews. And I know the, the way to be Jewish is to truly come back to God. That is what Ezekiel sees. The physical resurrection of Israel, bone to bone, comes to a point that God himself says there was no spirit yet. But it was a physical nation. You see it. It's the strong army. and It's, it's wonderful. The e economy and, and the technology of it is early. I love them. It's all come physically together. They refound their, their language. And then the Bible is so honest. God is so honest. I saw no spirit in them. What Israel needs is not a secular Judaism, but a spiritual repentance and turn to God. And the Bible says it. I will then pour out, God speaks, my spirit of grace and supplication. It's going to happen, I believe, at the Feast of Tabernacles, but it will be hundred times more powerful than the Pentecost blessing. And it will Cause to happen what the Bible says. That's why I'm still positive. At that time there will be not one Israeli that will say to another Israeli, Know the Lord for they shall all know me. There were only 120 Jews at the Pentecost this time. The powerful blast of God is going to win the battle. That's what we have to pray for. That's what I'm working for. Not a little messianic assembly here or there having their rights, even if that right it will be going to be given to secular Israelis who say, we don't care about your spirituality, but we want everything to have the right. Abortion is anyone. Okay, you can have it too. I will say, thank you very much. I, whether I'm a Jewish believer or a Gentile believer, will stand with Nehemiah and Ezra and cry. He went to says, God, we just back and we do it again. The only way that I believe there will be a restitution to the Jewishness of Israel and to what is maybe still happening in America is a return to God and that it's needed that God will give somebody in the White House that is willing to be as supportive of the believers as I hope that will happen here for the destiny of God's people.